Hi there, David Harper here. I'm going to give you a very quick few minute review on Roma watches. Now, this is a brand of watch which I am telling you is undervalued and overlooked. And many of you won't have even heard of the brand. So founded in the later part of the 19th century, still trading today. And I've got two examples that I'm going to show you, both of which I've owned for a very long time. The first one is this Roma nine karat gold dress watch. Now I've owned this from new. So this was my very first good watch. I got this for my 18th birthday in uh, the mid 1980s. So you can see it's well and truly beaten up. In fact, it's been eaten by my dog. It was eaten about 25 years ago, but it never stopped working. It's got tooth imprints all over it, but these things are pretty well made. This just takes a battery. It's a quartz movement, obviously. Every couple of years, it's never been serviced and it never misses a beat. So the only downside with this particular watch is this. It is definitely a dress watch. So it's not made for, you know, sports activities or being, or in fact, any activities whatsoever. And I can tell you from experience that when I've ever been out in the garden wearing this watch or lifting furniture into the back of a car and I sweat a bit, the watch itself sweats. It steams up and you can't see the face. So a great watch, but purely for dress. However, this one, if you want an activity watch, a vintage watch that is just so cool, it's painful, this is the one for you. And it is no money. The Roma Stingray dating to the 1960s. And what a name, Stingray. I mean, it's fantastic for a car. It's even better for a watch. So this is a super cool watch, gold plated, steel, almost a bubble back. It's nice and stout and sturdy. It's a manual wind. I've had it for 20 years. I wear it off and on. All I do is I pull it out of the drawer, wind it up and it just goes. So it's about 50 years old and very cool. And when I say I think they're overlooked and undervalued, they really are because both of these watches, the dress watch, solid gold from the mid 1980s, in this condition, not worth very much at all, but in good condition, a couple of hundred quid probably will buy it. A vintage Roma Stingray from the 1960s, good condition, similar money, couple of hundred quid, which I think makes these things phenomenal value for money. And I think you'll agree they are overlooked and undervalued.